Uh, let me introduce you to myself. I am Richa Jain. I was a Google Summer of Code intern with Wikimedia Foundation last summer. So where I developed a media wiki extension which basically allows the users to annotate text. So from that's how, that's from, uh, from that's how I learned how to make media wiki extensions and now I am going to present my talk. Uh, these are basically the outlines. During the first part of my talk, I'll basically talk about the basic media wiki stuff, uh, uh, how to install it, and what packages do you require to in your laptops to work on media wiki. Then in the next part, I'll talk about what are media wiki extensions, uh, the extension types, and a lot more. And then in the third part, I'll teach you how to create extensions. So what is MediaWiki? Can I expect an answer from the audience, please? Yes, what would you like? Uh, what is MediaWiki? Anyone? MediaWiki is it's free and open software wiki package that <laughs> and that runs Wikipedia and other wikis. Okay, it's perfect. <laughs> it's actually a free and open source software package. It's uh, almost used by most of the wikis across the world, including Wikipedia and all the other wikis. The source code is basically written in PHP. So I am expecting that you people know a little bit of PHP because uh, to create an extension, you need to know a little bit of syntax is how PHP uses, so. Uh, this is basically the front page of MediaWiki. Uh, if you want to download it, you can just click on the download link and you'll get the MediaWiki software into your laptops and then uh, you put it in your local host directory and follow the in uh, installation instructions. I'll tell you how to install it. Uh, for MediaWiki, you should have these basic packages. The first is PHP. Since the source code is written in PHP, so you need to know a basic PHP at least. Then uh, for the front end work, MediaWiki uses JavaScript and CSS. So it depends on what part of MediaWiki you'd like to work on. If you'd like to work on the front end, you need to know JavaScript and CSS. Then for the database connections, MediaWiki uses MySQL or My, uh, SQLite. Then to code, of course, you need a text editor, Sublime Text, Guinea, Vim, or Notepad. Okay, MediaWiki installation. The first step is you need to check out the requirements, I, which I told you in the previous slide. Then you need to download it, the link which I showed you. Uh, after downloading it, you will get a zip file. Just extract that zip file and put it in your localhost directory. Uh, then you open the localhost directory from the web browser and follow the instructions to install. So uh, basically, MediaWiki uses a local settings file to uh, for its configuration variables. So when you download MediaWiki, you won't have a local settings file. So the first time when you open uh, MediaWiki through a browser, you'll get something like this. It will say that a local settings file is not found, so you click on the setup wiki first, and then uh, you'll, uh, uh, you'll get instructions. You will need to fill up some forms uh, uh, which require certain config variables like your database name and username and password. So once you're finished up with this, at the end, you'll get your own local settings file, and then you download it and put it in the directory. So this is basically how the MediaWiki gets installed. So after installation, it will look like this. MediaWiki has been successfully installed. It's a very easy procedure. If you people want, I can help you out after the session regarding the installation. Now let's head on towards our main talk about what are extensions? Basically, MediaWiki extensions are, they let you customize wiki according to your own use. 
So they can add many features like they can extend the wiki markup. You can add your own, uh, own markup and your own tags. You can define your own tags basically. You can add new reporting and administrative features. Basically, this is uh, done by creating special pages. You can basically change the look and design of MediaWiki. This is done by changing the skins and the uh, templates. I'll tell you how to do these at the end of the session. Mm. A basic, this is the basic skeleton of, uh, of an extension. So basically an extension is nothing, but it's just a directory. You put it inside your extensions directory of MediaWiki, and these are the basic files of a very basic extension. So, for a complex extension, of course, there may be different, uh, there may be subdirectories inside the directory, but these are the, uh, this is the basic structure of a MediaWiki extension. You put it inside your extensions directory of MediaWiki. And now, uh, like, how to develop your own extension? The first step developing your own extension is, of course, you create a directory inside the extensions directory. Uh, I'll be taking an example of hello user throughout the session. So uh, just go to your extensions and create a hello user directory. The, uh, all of the extensions are basically divided into three parts. The first part is setup. Uh, setup basically it stores all the setup uh, instructions. We use this so that the user doesn't find difficulty in installing the uh, extension. He just need to include a file and his extension gets installed. Basically in the setup file, we register all the other files. We register all the other classes which are used by the extensions and include this particular setup file in our core media wiki configuration file. Then the next part is the execution. Uh, this part varies with the type of extension you are creating. If the extension is quite complex and quite big, so it may consist of various subdirectories. So this part varies according to the type of extensions you want to create. Uh, then the third part is localization. like. If you want your extension to support various different languages, you need to add a localization setup. I'll tell you how to uh, add these uh, uh, in the coming slides. Uh, this is the setup. So once you have created a hello user directory, you create a hello user.php file. This is your setup file. This basically registers all the other files and you include this particular file in your local settings file of MediaWiki core and your extension gets installed. So for a setup file, we have certain set of predefined variables. At the first, uh, we use uh, extension credits. It's basically the author, the version, and the name of the extension. This is, uh, and then you basically are including your messages file. Messages file is where we localize our uh, uh, messages. We don't hard code in MediaWiki anything. We always put it in a messages file and then call the variables into uh, different files. So this is basically we are registering the internationalization file. We are registering the i18 file. The key is telling the key this uh, hello user. It's telling MediaWiki that the hello user extension, the uh, the internationalization file of the hello user extension is located in this directory. Then comes installing extensions. I already told you. You need to include the setup file which we created, hellouser.php, in local settings.php. And you're done installing the extension. Yes. <laughs> now you need to head on towards internationalization. I suppose you people know what internationalization is. Yep. Yes, That's okay. Uh, this is your internationalization file. You name it as hellouser.i18n.php. 
create an array, messages array. Uh, you basically write the messages in English and the translate wiki automatically translates it into different languages. So this is what uh, my message is basically hello user in English and the key is my uh, basically a variable which I'll call in all the other files. Uh, now how to use those messages? So there are various ways to use those messages. Uh, in PHP, if you use WF message and the message name, it will extract that particular message name. And uh, the parse is basically used. Uh, for example, if your message contains a wiki text, so, and you need to parse it. Uh, if, if your message contains a wiki text, you should use a parse function uh, with WF message. If you don't use it, it will escape the wiki text and just simply print it. The plane is just, it will just uh, normally extract the text message from the messages file. Uh, <coughs> yep. Does everyone know what we mean when we say wiki text? Yeah. Yeah, I, I might have some questions, but not yet. Um, so keep going. Okay. Uh, basically, you can use messages dynamically as well. Uh, so you pass the parameters along with the message name. Are you understanding what dynamic messages means? Okay. Uh, so comes the extension types. So uh, basically, extension types are classified according to what technique you use to achieve your required effects. So I, I will be dealing here with the three extension types and will tell you the implementation after having a brief discussion of each of these three. The first is special pages. I hope everyone know what special pages are on Wiki. So okay, uh, these are basically pages which a normal user cannot edit and it, it can only be changed by the admin. So if you want your extension to have some administrative capabilities, you use special pages. Uh, like if you want your extension to provide you with a form which uh, provides the user feedback. So you can use special pages for that. So uh, how do we implement special pages is in MediaWiki core, we have a class name special page which handles the special pages. So if you want to create a special page of your, for your own extension, you create a subclass of that special page and then just overload a few functions. Uh, then the second extension type is hooks. Uh, you may want that your extension gets called only at few particular events. The events can be the article save, it can be an article delete, it can be a page load, it can be an article edit, or there are a lot of events. So depending on the type of event you want, you use a hooks type of extension. Basically, you uh, there are a lot of hooks available with MediaWiki. You need to identify which hook you want to use for the extension. You register for that hook in your setup file and you define a function. So basically, when that particular event occurs, MediaWiki calls that function and it's executed. So when I, uh, so the extension, so basically the extension is called only when the ex uh, when the event occurs. So this is the hooks type, then the tag extensions. Uh, the tag extensions is used to add your, uh, to basically customize your own tags with a wiki text. Like uh, we use parser for this. Uh, like a parser, what basic, basically parser does is it uh, converts wiki text to HTML. 
uh, in wiki text for example we use uh, double equals to as the heading so whenever it finds double equals to it will convert it into heading so what if i want to insert my own tags what if i want to insert a hello tag with wiki text so whenever uh, with the tag extensions we can actually do that so uh, uh, we actually use the hook which runs only when the parser runs so when the parser runs we define our own function and there are some functions available which uh, which identifies that particular tag and calls a particular function i'll tell you the implementation so it will be more clear after that okay uh, let's come at the implementation this is the special page setup so uh, i've already explained you till the messages file to register for a special page i use the wg special pages uh, this is uh, uh, this is basically my extension name it's again telling media wiki the uh, wg special pages array with the key name as the extension name it's telling media wiki that the extension named hello user has a special page and the class for the special page is special hello user but i still don't know where the special hello user exists so i need to register register for that class as well so for registering classes in media wiki there is a variable name auto load classes the key name is the class name and the value is the location of the class name so here we are done with the setup of a special page uh, any confusion to this point yeah can you pass a directory to auto load classes uh to the files each file you have can you pass directories to the yeah so like uh wg auto load classes mm -hmm. Class name. Space or whatever. Uh, you yeah. You have to load all the classes in the directory, or you have to do each. Uh, class as a file that you want. To load. Uh, you need to do each class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is my special page file. So, uh, as I said, the special page uh, class it exists in Media Wiki code. for creating our own special page we create a sub class of that special page here is the constructor uh, we need to define the constructor because this names your special page uh, the special page will be named as hello user so you can browse your special page as slash special hello user because i need my special uh, then you define an execute function uh you define an execute function in your special class and it overloads the special page is it overloads the execute function which is defined in the media wiki core uh, special page class uh now uh, what this execute function is doing it's just setting the special page title it's extracting the message from the i18 file as wf message then uh, this get output is basically a function it returns the output page object uh, uh this is all about a special page extension a basic idea now we head on towards our hooks setup so uh, to set up a hooks we use wg hooks variable here i'm using a before page display you need to use the hook name as a key in this variable wg hooks before page display basically calls the extension whenever a page gets slowed yeah so you mentioned earlier that special pages tags and hooks yeah are the, these are three different techniques you could use yeah right? yeah so it sounds like you're setting up an example extension that actually uses all three of these techniques? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to check. <laughs> yeah, uh, and basically an extension can consist of these uh, can comprise of one or more of these techniques. Thank you. 
uh, yeah, uh, this is basically I am registering a hook. It's telling MediaWiki that whenever a page, uh, before page display occurs, I'll call that function. Uh, that on before page display function, which is a part of hello user hooks class. I haven't yet registered for the hello user hooks class. So I'll again do the same thing which I did for the special hello user. I'll register for the hello user hooks class as uh, with uh, auto load classes and the file name. Uh, you define it's I guess clear. Uh, you defining a function on before page display. This is called whenever a page gets slowed, and the extension should be installed. Of course, this output page is basically the output page object, and uh, you're adding a wiki text hello. It's actually hard coded, hard coded here, but you don't do it normally. You call it from the messages file. Yeah, uh, there is a manual. Uh, you can browse to manual hooks, and you'll find a list of all the hooks available. Yeah. There are a lot, many. The, when you say manual hooks, this is on MediaWiki.org, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, now the parser setup. Uh, the parser is uh, we use uh, hooks for this. Basically, we are using the tags extensions. Uh, we use. The parser first call in it. This hook is this hook defines whenever a parser runs. So whenever a parser runs, it will call that function, the sample parser in it, and in the sample parser in it, you 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 have a function name called set hook. Uh, the first parameter is the hello. Basically, hello is uh, if it sees a hello tag, it will replace the hello tag with this whatever this function is executing, uh, whatever this function is doing, as in it's returning a, a, an HTML. But uh, you can also create your own form. For example, uh, like I want to inject a tag, I want to uh, define my own tag which injects a form with the wiki with the page so i'll define a function i'll write the name of the tag here and in the function i'll write the code as it will generate a form here it's just returning an html uh, special cars it's just returning an html text Uh, it was all about a brief idea. I can help you people out if you are trying it on your own systems to create an extension. Oh, okay. Common extensions. Uh, see, for special pages, you can install Upload Wizard. Uh, it's basically implemented as a special page. People upload uh, various media files into it. It's basically launched on Commons. And you can install Visual Editor. People use it for editing. Yeah. Okay, so um, visual editor and Wikipedia and, and upload wizard are, are definitely widely used extensions because they're launched on the Wikimedia project. They're like visual editor is something you can use on French Wikipedia, Hebrew Wikipedia, a number of the Wikipedias, and then upload wizard is very useful on Wikimedia Commons, the media repository. Am I right in assuming that you yourself are running your own installation? Or yeah, I mean, we use media wiki for. Um, like if we have a spec for how do you install this software, how do we configure something. So you're using it as a knowledge base? Yeah. Exactly, so yeah. in that case, um, some of the uh, extensions that a lot of people definitely want to install, there are some very basic ones like Cite, Cite 
extension? Yeah, site extension. Right, yeah. so do you want to talk more about some of those really, really common ones like site? I don't have any idea about the site extension. I've heard of it. Wait, yeah. others, though, that you think uh, can I uh, give you a demo of uh, the extension which I created as my GSOC sure. project? Yeah. But as she sets that up, um, parser functions? Okay. There's one called parser functions. Um, yeah. If you, do, uh, do you know how to go to special version on, another, on a wiki? Uh, I don't at all. Okay, yeah, it's one of the special pages on any media wiki installation. Okay. If you go to that wiki and you go to the set of special pages and you click on version, you'll see the list of all the extensions that are installed. Okay. So if you go to some yeah, other wikis that I was you like, to say that. you can see what they have installed. Great. Yeah, uh, I can show you a demo of the extension which I created as my GSOC project. It basically uses the before page, ex, uh, before page display hooks. Okay. Uh, Michelle has been working on Wikimedia projects. I, as community manager, I deal with a lot of the folks like you who are dealing with stuff that are not Wikimedia, <laughs> so that's all. Uh, so uh, you, can you see the view annotations tab? Yes. 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 So this is basically, my project was uh, a user can actually insert inline comments into the wiki articles. So it uses a before page display hooks. So whenever I reload a page, whenever I load a page, this tab, gets inserted. That means the extension is called. And when I view this, click on this, I can actually see the annotations over here. So you can also insert the annotations. It's done. You can delete it. You can edit it. This is my username. Even the logged out users can just insert the comments. It's just a small extension. You want to show us the code? For this, my GSOC yeah. extension? Yeah, of course. OK. Uh, <laughs> no, wait. Mm. I'll show you by start. Uh, this is the setup file for the annotator extension, the messages file registration. Uh, these are uh, some advanced uh, things. Uh, the resource modules uh, just define the paths. Then actually, I used a library called OKFN library. It's a JavaScript library. To load that library, we use uh, WG resource modules. Uh, to load the scripts and the styles, we use uh, WG resource modules. So I loaded the JS files. And then these are the classes. These are the hooks which I used. I also uh, had a database connection uh, for my extension. So for database connection, we use actually load extension schema updates uh, hooks. Uh, it's important. So uh, this basically uses API modules. So for using API modules, as in MediaWiki supports uh, various API methods. So uh, you can actually, uh, the, uh, the library which I used, uh, for that, I need to define my own uh, API methods. So to define own API methods with MediaWiki, we use uh, these API modules. I can show you one. I can, this is what? This is my hooks class. This is the load extension schema updates as in uh, uh, how a database is getting created. This is how we create a database. We work with the database with MediaWiki. Need to call the hooks. In the function, uh, there, uh, there is a manual. I'll show uh, you the link of the manual available for this. So, uh, as in, 
this is wait uh, yeah, uh, you are actually creating through this, you are actually creating the database if it doesn't exist and yeah, these add extension fees, these are actually creating a database, the uh, index uh, annotator, yeah, these are actually the syntaxes, you can look into the documentation, then uh, it, will be, it will be better to understand. And also, the extension is not called on all the uh, skins, on all the namespaces, sorry. It's actually called only on, on the main page, the article page, the talk page, and the category page. Because we don't want to see annotations on all the articles, on all the pages. For example, if uh, it could be any page, it could be a file page. We don't want to see annotations on the file page because there will be no debate on the file page. There, we can expect a debate conversation only on the article page and the talk page. So basically here I am checking what is the namespace and if the namespace matches any of these, I will call the extension. So, uh, do you want to look at the about the namespace yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So your the namespaces we identify them by these names and as main and as talk and as category? Uh, no, actually there are numbers available for the okay, namespaces. So where, know, where is the uh, mapping between those names and the there numbers? it's available on the internet if you browse at namespaces, manual namespaces. Okay, so on MediaWiki.org, there's a page called Manual Namespaces that helps us know yeah. where is it in MediaWiki core? Is it defined somewhere, that mapping? Uh, I'm not sure about it, but... Uh, okay, that's fine. But there, is, there are number mappings along with, with the namespaces. But for our use and convenience, we can refer we to... We use, things. yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, for uh, if you're using API methods, you generally prefer to create a directory and then define all the API methods into the same file. These are basically uh, the update. It updates the annotations. The search is uh, when I click on the view annotations tab. The search API search annotation uh, API an API annotator search method is called. Uh, the read is uh, read is not actually called on the web interface. It's just for uh, I guess testing uh, testing it through the API. The destroy is uh, called when I delete the annotation. Uh, create is called when I click on the save button. So I can show you one. Just let's look at search. Okay. Uh, Yeah, and uh, when you are creating and uh, when you are creating your own API method, you uh, you basically use the API base class, which is defined in the MediaWiki core, and you create a subclass of it because a a various API methods are available in the API base class. This uh, get allowed params actually uh, what parameters I can pass in the API. So. A uh, revision ID is basically like I click on the view annotations tab. So uh, I want from the database to extract only those annotations which are there on that particular page. So I must pass a parameter called revision ID into my API method and then search from the database what revision ID the annotation uh, uh, the annotations from that particular revision ID. So get, get allowed params is basically a predefined function we use to uh, uh, we used we use it uh, to just uh, define what parameters to pass with the API methods. Then uh, is, uh, uh, I guess it's over now. Uh, this is my uh, uh, SQL database dump. You put it in SQL directory to avoid any confusion. To do what? 
to avoid like to maintain it that. confusion <laughs> Uh, modules is basically uh, my JS files. Uh, JS through JS, uh, I'm uh, I'm actually loading the annotations. Yeah, when I click on the uh, view annotations tab, I'm actually loading annotations uh, with the help of uh, JavaScript because uh, the OKFN plugin is basically a JavaScript file. So uh, these are my API methods which I am uh, uh, which I am calling when uh, when an annotation is created I am calling annotator create and the parameter is passed as revision ID. The, the similar for update, read, destroy, and search. Uh, the permissions plugin is for uh, uh, the what user can actually edit and uh, delete my annotations. It's uh, because if uh, the user is not logged in and still he created an annotation, uh, there is actually no method currently to destroy it. Uh, uh, currently, we are working on it. Uh, is that jQuery or is it? jQuery. The dollar sign you're passing here? Uh, what? 113? This well, one? Uh, this is actually a media wiki extend, uh, media wiki style of coding with JavaScript. And is the dollar sign you're passing in is that media wiki JavaScript library or is it jQuery? It's I guess a media wiki style of uh, coding uh, JavaScript. So I explained the basics of these extensions. Any other questions? Um, My this extension? Yeah. Uh, with the library, it wasn't very difficult because the library provides you with the uh, API methods. You need to define the backend on your own. So I created these classes, and then uh, it was actually a work of uh, doing some research because we need to figure out the way how to do it. Right. Yeah. My mentor helped me. We were assigned the mentor. We were assigned two mentors, so they helped me a lot with that. Yep. Yeah. Are you working on any extensions now? Uh, not currently. What would you no. work on? Had some time, what extension would you make? Uh, basically, when I started, I started working on that upload wizard extension. Then uh, I tried to work on visual editor, but I did not. As in, I looked at some of its code, but I did not. But then I worked on this annotations. I saw some code of article feedback v5 as well. If you could work on something now, if you had some time, uh, what would I work on? I would love to work on visual editor because I tried it before as well, but I did not, but I may try to work on visual editor.